beautiful people welcome or welcome back to the channel this week i am bringing you another emma proof update i'm talking about the process to revise and what i'm doing now that my first draft is over this is from last week starting on tuesday all the way through saturday so yeah i really hope you enjoy the video and we'll get into it right now hello and happy tuesday today i wanted to take you along as i am finishing up the last steps before i start revising my work in progress and my proof i wanted to start doing this yesterday but it was pretty busy for me we went shopping and then i filmed and edited and posted a video and i just didn't have time i have a few things to do left before I feel very confident in starting revising. I forgot to take the sticky note off the wall. I'm doing the Sarah Cannon HP90 method, which I'm loving, but one of my tasks that I was trying to finish last week but didn't completely finish is to write in-depth character descriptions for every major character. I need to, I don't know if you can see this, like a beauty YouTuber here, I need to write every character in a scene, um, the same scene. I, I think I got this advice well, I'm pretty sure I got this advice from Craft in the Real World. I will definitely be making a review of this book. I think it's excellent. But at the end of the book, there are some strategies for revision. And so I just went through and thought about which ones I should do um, before I start my... I guess it's more of a rewrite than a revision, but I'll talk about that later. Other thing is to identify key or symbolic objects. I just thought this one was interesting. And again, because my main character is autistic, she tends to have attachments to a lot of physical things. I don't know if that's t um, technically an autistic trait, but it's definitely something I've noticed within the community. And the last one is to brainstorm key questions in terms of what is the point of my novel? What is my novel doing? So I have those four things to do. I think I will try, I can definitely get the scene done and maybe the objects. I don't know about the key questions. It's gonna take a lot of thought. I'll try my best. I'm really excited to start revising and I wanted to talk a bit about what my method is and how I'm doing it. So I am writing the book in third person and if you want more explanation as to why, I talked about it in my last video that I'll link. But I forgot to mention that I am also getting rid of what are called filter words, which is basically when a character says I learned or I felt or I realized. I know I talked about it in the magic words which I have a review for that I'll link also but since I've written I realized I use filter words a lot so as I'm converting the book to third person I'm realizing that I have so many filter words and I have a feeling that third person would reduce the need for filter words but I'm not so sure about that and I just want to make sure that I'm doing that correctly. So I think my strategy going forward will be to take a chapter transfer it over to a new document and transfer everything into third person and then once I do that go back go through and get rid of filter words and replace it with something that's actually more descriptive and so instead of tell. I finally understand why it, filter words kind of make your story less interesting. For one thing I think they're just repetitive. You don't want to always be saying I thought this, I thought that, I realized this, I realized that. I felt this way. I think that will definitely up just the quality of the writing, even if only by a little bit. The thing that I'm struggling with more is about the subplots. I think I should develop them, but I'm not sure if I should develop them while I'm writing or if I should plot a whole arc separately. I talked about this in my last video too, but I think when I was plotting initially, I plotted the first half with the whole world in mind in the second half I just like kind of forgot that my main character goes to school and her interactions with her teacher and a couple of her classmates so I think that really needs to be fleshed out more and I'm not sure at which stage of the process I'm going to start fleshing that out more I don't know if I'll just consciously add more information to each chapter as I write along or if I should replot that whole arc about school. I definitely feel like writing in each chapter is going to be more intuitive for me, but I don't know if that necessarily means that it's going to be better to do that. So I'll definitely be thinking about that also as I'm working. There are, as far as I know, sprints going on right now. So I am going to join those. It's a little late in the day to start for me. It's almost noon, but you know, uh, better late than never and I'll get to work. 
Okay, I have finished the character descriptions. It took me about 20 or 30 minutes and then I took a break for lunch and now I am moving on to getting every character in the same scene. I'm really excited for this because it will give me a bit more context and information about different characters' relationships to each other, even if they don't see each other a lot in the actual book. And I think it will be helpful in coming up with more conflicts and expanding my word count, which is why I picked it to do. Then the identify key objects and symbols I'll probably do next. I guess I don't really have an activity with this one besides just making a list of things that are important to major characters and how they come up in the story. Maybe I'll track that during my rewrite. I'm not exactly sure, but those are my two goals for today. I am thinking about what I'm going to do for NaNoWriMo and I have another project idea that I'm sort of playing around with. After I finish these two things, I'll start to work on that just a little bit and yeah, then I'll be good for the day. I know that a lot of people just use October as the prep month for NaNoWriMo, but that is definitely not me. <laughs> I realize that I take a long time to plot and so I'm trying to give myself that time so that I can actually write the 50,000 words for NaNo. I just kind of want to have a traditional NaNo. Hello everyone, a little update on yesterday. I finished the scene with everybody in it. I did not work on the sort of secret project that I'm hoping to work on for NaNo at all yesterday. I was just too tired, but it is what it is. Today I finished the list of objects. I think it's more something, I just reread the activity again from Craft in the Real World of these revision activities. I just reread the object activity and it's more about tracking an object in your story. So listing the objects is just a first step and I think once I have this new rewritten draft, I will do that again because I think it's really interesting and I will certainly be conscious of it when I'm rewriting if there's more objects that I think of that can track throughout the story. Now I'm doing these you can't even see these questions listed here about the foundational questions of your story. I just wrote them up on my document and I'll answer them now. I'm currently in Lisa Daly's writing live streams, so I'll probably put a time lapse of me working on them. But I'm very excited. This is the last activity I have to do before I start writing. So maybe in the next sprint or maybe in some sprints this afternoon or something, I will start a new rewrite, which will be very exciting. stream is still going on we're only like halfway through the second sprint but I did finish the key questions that I was planning to answer that exercise was much easier than I thought it would be maybe because I did the character descriptions and some of the exercises before it but I thought oh my goodness I don't know what my book's about where it's going I don't have like a central theme or like a clear point that the book is making like they always say you should have before you revise at least that's what a lot of the craft books that I've read said and I feel like I've gotten the point, which is very exciting. I can't wait to revive, rewrite. And I am just going to update the calendar that I have for this book. I think some of the subplots do have specific dates tied to them, and I want to make sure I get that on there in terms of the dad's new job at a different hospital and the brother starting at a different school. This is something I alluded to. I think I sort of came up with this idea halfway through the book and I, I guess I just realized something. <laughs> I think I swapped the school storyline in the beginning of the book for the moving, potentially moving storyline in the later parts of the book and I need them both to be consistent through the whole thing. So I think I need to put in the dates of when things happened. I'm not going to give a specific plot to this or like plot out which days which things specifically happen, but I just need a day that says like, oh, this is when the dad starts his new job. This day they go look at houses closer to his new job. Maybe I'm not doing a good job of explaining this, but I think those are the two main subplots that I need to add into the story 
more about Emma at school with her friends or making friends and more about the family and their move or maybe not move as the case may be. Oh. There we go. That's not right. Okay. Well, that's what it's going to be like for now. As you can tell, first of all, happy Friday. I did not vlog at all yesterday. It was a very busy day. We went out. I got new running shoes, all this stuff. Um, but as you can see, my desk is quite messy and there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be cleaned and put in other rooms before I get to writing today. So I'm going to do that. And then afterwards, the other thing I have for today is, is that I'm finally ready to start my rewrite. So I'm going to rewrite a couple of scenes, which is very exciting and then also start planning with HB90 for the next quarter. I will definitely be doing a video on HB90 in general and a sort of review of it. I didn't do the course, but I do use the planner and I've really loved it so far. So I think that will be a cool video concept. If you have any specific questions about that, definitely leave them down below. But um, yeah, let's get the day started. I did finish cleaning up and I also was listening to some podcasts and stuff because I got distracted, not gonna lie. I felt like I was resisting it and so I did a journal entry in my writing journal about why and I'll probably post a video at some point about my writing journal as well. I feel like this video I'm talking about a lot of videos that I have ideas for, which is interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna stop for lunch and then I will write I, my goal today is just to do the first two scenes chapters whatever um and then let me look at this i also have a lot oh i also edited this vlog for maybe 20 minutes and i have a lot of chores to do because i was out and about yesterday which is when i usually do my chores so laundry it is all right it has been a bit but I ate lunch and cleaned up and folded my laundry and put another load of laundry in. So now I can finally start on this rewrite. I really thought this vlog was gonna have rewrites on Monday and it was all gonna be about it, but I guess I had more to do to prepare for the rewrite than I thought. And that's okay, I'm just going with it. But I'm just gonna do two scenes today, kind of just to get into it. I usually try to write in big blocks on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but that hasn't really worked out this week. So I'm just gonna try and get something in and then next week, hopefully I can do, probably do nine scenes for the week, three scenes on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then maybe, you know, an extra, maybe I'll get to 10 if I have time in the afternoon or something. But yeah, thanks for coming along with me on this vlog. Happy Saturday. It is almost eight o'clock. I was not planning to write today, but there is a stream going on. Savion Taylor is hosting a cookie stream. Uh, cookie Civil War streams. I missed the first stream and the second stream is about to start, but I do want to work out before my day starts. So I'm going to do that and then I'll join in with some of the streams and get a little bit more writing done. Yesterday I wrote maybe half of one scene. I wanted to write two scenes, but that didn't happen, so I think maybe with the streams today, I'll get to two scenes. I'm not necessarily going to participate in every single stream, but it'll be nice to know that there's streams going on all day and I have a chance to get a lot done. But for now, I'm going to work out and get to this. Yeah, and I think I'm going to end the vlog here and I'll just talk about how this went in my next vlog. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe down below and I'll see you next week. Bye friends.